everyone, Kenny Bunk Pond Maple Farm here again. Um, it's Sunday, got a real late start on today. Had to um, had to do some things that took forever. I had to go pick up some um, parts and pieces, like I always do. Uh, what happened is my uh, my big blue trash can on the hill um, sp sprung a leak, so I had to come up with a, uh, a way to um, to fix it. And uh, and I had an idea of trying to get a uh, try, instead of using a siphon to pull uh, the sap up and over, um, I came up and I wanted to use a, I don't know if it's a pass through or what exactly they call it uh, that uh, it will come out through the bottom. You can hook up your tubing up to that. And then, um, and then the water comes out through gravity. I don't have to pull it. Not water sap, sorry. I don't have to pull it over. It's just I just fill it up and it just feeds. Um, there's, <laughs> I ran into to a problem with that too. The hole that it needs is bigger than what I have. So I, I tried to etch it out and I made the hole too big. So I got a little bit of a leak, but I'm catching what's leaking out into another bucket and I'll just, just feed that in after. So I'm gonna take you over. Uh, take a look at what I did. I wanted to take some video before it got. Um, so here we go. Let's go. So here's here's what I added on. Um, it's a piece of plastic and it's threaded and has a nut and a gasket um, through it. The problem is, is I made the hole too big, so it's it's all my fault, um, pretty much. That's all I have to say about that. So I've got the uh, I got the threading. I got an adapter coming out to a. Uh, a lead-free ball valve. All, all my stuff's all lead-free, in case you're curious. And then I got the um, the push fitting. It's like a shark bite, but um, at Lowe's instead of at Home Depot. And then I got my other valve on this side. Um, that's feeding into my copper tubing. And, and coming right up. Now, it's hot. It, it, it's boiling really low right now. I'm going to get the fire You can see my feed going right here. And um, I'm, just, I'm just running, running, running. We haven't boiled off an awful lot yet, but um, we're gonna we're gonna get to it. Probably make maybe post a little bit later. I don't know. I know I got some um, I got some syrup on the other pan. Um, trying to finish up, trying to get closer to um, maple syrup. Uh, so um, we'll probably go check that out. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, let me see if we can fix it. Anyways. I just wanted to show you something. Since I got another boil going and we're late, I like to use what I call these, these are my cheaters. There. It's about, a little bit about a half gallon of syrup. It's almost ready to be, um, to be bottled, but it's not thick enough and I gotta focus all my efforts on my, my, my fire. So, instead of trying to, um, you know, burn both the candle at both ends here, I'm gonna seal these up. I'll bottle them up tomorrow. And then probably tomorrow I'll run all the stuff that's on the stove back over here um, and um, we'll see if we can get everything canned up. Maybe I can even get some footage. Um, all right, I'll show you. See you later. Bye. There was uh, one quick thing I wanted to add. Um, this, the, all of this stuff varies day to day. You know, it's like a garden. It grows differently every year. Well, every week I get a new batch. Now, this, look how light this is compared to um, some of the stuff that I made last week, which is really, really dark. Even the bigger jars, you can see the the light pass right through. That's gonna be beautiful. I think I'm gonna get myself some um, some real nice jars over at um, Tractor Supply. They have a real nice fancy jar. It's a, it's thinner and it'll show the set beautiful. So maybe if people wanna spend uh, a little bit more money when they buy it, or maybe we can give them away as gifts, um, I'll go do that. And um, I think that'll work out really well. Okay.